So in today's episode, I'm gonna cover carpet lining, furniture that I've made, so the L-shaped bench seat, wardrobe, I've modified the bed frame, installed the fridge, and finally, a little bit about gas. Yeah, so I was, I was quite against using carpet in the van, just because I think it's a bit weird to have carpet on your walls, like you wouldn't put carpet on the walls of your house and it's finally starting to come together and look like a camper van. I cannot wait to start using it next summer. It's gonna be sick. Hey guys, how's it going? Sam Payne here from Vagabond Vans. It is pretty miserable outside today. Uh, We're in the middle of Storm Callum, I think. It's raining pretty hard, so I'm just sat in the van. Thought I would do another progress update video. As I've done, uh, made some good progress over the last couple of weekends. I've roped in the old man recently, who is a bit of a dab hand with anything, really. Fixing things and making things. So yeah, we've got quite a lot done. So thought I'd just do a general update of what I've been working on. Um, where, where we've got to really. So in today's episode, I'm gonna cover carpet lining, which I've mainly done on the bulkhead. Furniture that I've made, so the L-shaped bench seat, wardrobe, I've modified the bed frame, installed the fridge, and finally a little bit about gas. So this is my bulkhead, which is now aligned in smoke grey four-way stretch carpet from mega van mats yeah so i was i was quite against using carpet in the van for quite a while um just because i think it's a bit weird to have carpet on your walls like you wouldn't put carpet on the walls of your house but it got to be practical as well you know ideally i think a style that i like everything would be wood in here and it would be you know, more, I don't know, natural or traditional looking than having carpet. But when you've got a surface like this, that's got these ribbed features, you're either going to have to uh, just accept that you're going to lose a load of space and just put a ply, a bit of ply in or something, just box it, box it all off. And you probably can't see it on this video, but this is profiled so that it sticks out further at the top and then goes in a bit at the bottom. So that would mean I'm losing a bit of space. And then also, you'll see from my previous videos, I was trying to cover all of this in like little patchwork wood, effectively, which is just very labor intensive. It looks shit. And carpet is just way easier. And I'm actually really happy with how that looks. I'm gonna add like a window frame around here and have some perspex in here with like a sliding window so that you can access the cab from the accommodation space and vice versa. And there's also gonna be the fourth passenger seat here. Um, so that if you're traveling in the van and there are four of you traveling, you can actually communicate with the front. So that's good. It's the good thing about carpet is that it soaks up some of the tinny noise and rattling noises also prevents condensation if you have any bare metal in your van uh it's likely to condensate if you think of a can of coke it's effectively what your van's going to be like so if you cover that in carpet it's insulative so we've also done some lining at the back there around the doors and above the doors still got to do that side but yeah i'm super pleased with how it looks uh so dad actually did that he's bloody good at trimming and doing bits of carpet i'll do a bit of a close-up over here um i've been working hard on is the bench seats so i've got an l-shaped bench seat uh there'll then be a sliding section that comes out across like that and forms a, a small double bed here so that you can sleep four in the van um, so the bench seats in two sections, there's this section here uh, which has the sliding mechanism on top and then this is the static section of the, the seat. Um, so as we can see in here, <coughs> excuse me, got the water tank, uh, the space heater, also going to have 
uh, my water system uh, in this space here. This will be boxed off across here. And then my water pump accumulator filter will be on this, this face uh, here, sufficiently <coughs> above the space heater. So obviously this could get a bit hot. Um, I think the regs are you need to leave two centimeters all the way around. I'll be way above that. So I've now also secured the water heater in. It comes with these brackets that just fix it to the floor. And then I've also secured the uh, combustion intake and exhaust pipes underneath. Uh, so just secured then to the spigots on the bottom of the heater. I just need to get some uh, appropriately sized P-clips and secure them to the floor of the van. Um, so yeah, that's the space heater. This is the water heater. And then going into this section, I'm gonna have my battery in here. This is like my electrical locker, effectively. I have the battery in here and my charger combi inverter in there. This section will just be a storage bin. <laughs> so yeah, they're all in, secured to the, the floor, secured to each other. Yes, there is meant to be a step there. I won't get into why that is now, but don't worry, I've not just cocked up there. That's designed like that. Um, <clears throat> also, this here is my little mini wardrobe. I mean, you can see there, I've got really big hands, but it's, what, how wide is that? So it's 30 centimeters wide, pretty tiny really, but I can just, I'll be able to hang up a few shirts in there, put some bobs of clothing. It should be nice to have some proper hanging space. So that is now in. The fridge is in. I can't remember if that was in situ in the last video, but that's now in place. And I guess one of the major things that I've changed is the bed frame. So originally it's going to have a full size double in the back here. I then changed my mind and decided to go for uh, a small double, which is six inches smaller in width, still full length, obviously, which would, so I basically chopped off six inches of this side of the bed frame, which meant that my kitchen unit could move this way, uh, which meant that the person sitting in the fourth seat there would have more leg room, there was more space to walk in and out of the van, and I just generally made the design of the van better. I then realised that there's going to be a big gap at the back of a bed that <laughs> potentially you could fall down when you're sleeping in it and lose stuff down and it would just be a bit shit. So decided to remake the bed into a full size double. Um, but instead of the extra six inches being this way, it's now gonna be that way going towards the rear doors, which is what those three like chocks of wood are there. There'll then be another beam going across. Now obviously, the van is slightly narrower there because that's at an angle than it is there. So that beam is slightly shorter. So right up by the doors, it's not a full length double, um, but everywhere else is full length double. And so I'll just get a memory foam mattress and actually just cut the foam to the shape of the van there. <clears throat> and that gives me that extra width in the bed and just stops things falling down uh, the gap there. So another thing that I've started working on is the gas fittings. So I'm using eight mil copper pipe, lots of P-clips. The gas regs say you need to clip them every uh, 50 centimeters. Uh, and inside your vehicle, you have to use the rigid copper pipe rather than a flexi hose. Um, so just started to connect all that up. 
so this is the filler pipe that fills my LPG tank up. I need to connect that through that hole. You can just kind of see the bayonet fixture. So I'm going to do that next. Then this is um, the feed, essentially. So from the LPG tank, there's a bit of orange flexi hose, which then goes into this copper pipe. I'll just put a bit of classic conduit around it just to protect it as it comes up through the floor there. Uh, that will then go up into my kitchen unit, uh, which will go to this four-way valve. Um, and then from there, uh, there's obviously four, go to my four appliances, one to the hob, one to the cooker, one to the space heater, one to the water heater. So yeah, just making a start with all of that and uh, to cut the pipe to length. I've just been using this pipe cutter, which is really cheap from Screwfix, but so far it seems bloody good. And that's all I've got for you in this episode. I feel like I'm making some really good progress and it's finally starting to come together and look like a camper van. I cannot wait to start using it next summer. It's going to be sick. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share the videos to the world. And if you really, if you're feeling really clean, hit the notification bell so that you never miss a future video. Wow. Uh, anyway, cheers and I'll see you next week.